I have received a notification on Friday afternoon from the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs and Immigration, the Honorable Pio Tikundo Dua, raising a matter of privilege. First one to standing orders one, three, four. The matter of privilege is against the response to His Excellency's address by the Leader of the Opposition, the Honourable Chosaya Bainimarama, on Monday, the 13th of February, 2023. In accordance with Standing Orders 134, Clause 2, the Honourable Tikundo Dua has in his notification outlined the facts and the resulting grounds on which the Honourable Tikundundu believes that there has been a breach of privilege. The facts and the grounds notified by the Honourable Tikundundu are as follows. That on the morning of the 13th of February 2023, during the debate on the motion to thank His Excellency the President for his most gracious speech, the Honorable Chosaya Bainamarama uttered words that are denigrating, humiliating to the Head of State, His Excellency the President, and also as Commander-in-Chief, while appealing to the rank and file of the RF, in the RFMF, which in view of the Honorable Tikundundua are highly seditious and disrespectful, while dishonoring the dignity and bringing Parliament into disrepute, which are a contravention of Standing Orders 62, Clauses 3 and 4. Honorable Members, I have now had the opportunity to review the uncorrected uh, Hansard report for Monday, 13th February 2023, and I have considered the matter raised by the Honorable Tikon Dondua and have decided as follows. Privilege is accorded to everyone in this august house as a matter of right and standing order 133, which states that every member and any other person speaking in parliament has a, a freedom of speech and debate in parliament and subject to these standing orders. Therefore, any member can say whatever they want in this house but honourable members, what you say in Parliament is subject to the standing orders. The dignity and respect of this House must at all times be upheld. In this respect, Standing Order 62, Clause 3 states the conduct of members the President, the Chief Justice, performing the functions of the Office of the President under Section 88 of the Constitution, members of the judiciary, or other persons acting in a judicial capacity must not be raised except on a motion which notice, on a, on a motion which, with notice introduced with the Speaker's permission, and in other situations, reference to the conduct of any of these individuals is out of order. Close for honorable members. It is out of order for a member when speaking to use a offensive words against parliament or another member. B, treasonous words or treasonable words C, seditious words, and D, words that are likely to promote or, or provoke feelings of ill will or hostility between communities or ethnic groups within Fiji. The words used by the Honorable Leader of the Opposition are matters which are out of order in this Parliament and constitute a prima facie breach of privilege. Given the above and pursuant to Standing Orders 134, Clause 2A and Standing Orders 127, Clause 2C, I have decided 
there is a prima facie breach of privilege, and I hereby refer the matter to the Privileges Committee for its consideration. The Privileges Committee is directed to meet from lunch to time today at, uh, on 15 February 2023 and provide its report for tabling in Parliament on Friday the 17th, 2023. And Parliament shall consider the report of the Privileges Committee.